Playboy Cardi releasing new music, bro. I will be back in one minute. What if I just whip my shit out, bro? Like on accident, though. What if I just would I get banned for that? What if I just ha? Huh? Like you feel me? I don't even know, bro. Niggas talking about do it. Like what? Nigga said, "Don't be weird." I'm asking, bro. What would happen? What would happen, bro? Shut the fuck up. All right, I'll be back. Finna get some chicken and broccoli. Ooh, I'm finna eat in y'all niggas' faces. Let's talk about the release date, y'all, of Playboy Cardi. He he came back to Twitter. He has returned finally. Like he's he's posting screenshots of music. Last night he did, and then again today. Bro doesn't know how to screen record on his phone. I don't know what he's doing. But anyway, let's check it out. Okay, so he tweeted, hello, Twitter. There's four spaces in between here. So that means, look, one, two, three, four. That means four days till Cardi drops. Now, academics said that it's dropping between January and February. Cardi says, love all my supporters is time. But let's check out what academics says specifically in that apparently, January, February. It's not dropping this year, but we only got six days, bro. So y'all can wait. It's it's literally next month or the month after that, at least according to academics. And if you recall, academics was the one that gave us the exclusive info for a whole lot of red. He was even on the album. So him and Cardi are cool, I would think. Especially because I think academics was he said he talked to Cardi. Uh, a couple months ago he's on some like new shit actually there's a whole stream clip that i want to react to not just the release date let me find it for you because it'll tell us more than just the january february release oh you guys feeling right here i know i know what y'all want to ask me yo what up with cardi i see it niggas niggas like man tori already locked up like we all for that what up with cardi though um <laughs> Right, look at y'all. Y'all just spamming it. Nah, he he's all giddy. He's like, God damn. Like people know that I got the Cardi exclusive info. Let me take off my pants real quick and show this dude. Jeez, okay. Damn, it just got super silent. I am sorry. Um, all right. So I don't have a Cardi update in the sense of say other than me saying Cardi is on the way, I don't have another update. I know y'all want definitive, yo, he's dropping th then or whatever the case is. I don't have that for y'all right now, and I apologize for that. But um, just know you're seeing increased activities on a social because things are happening and things are cooking. You know what I mean? Just like last Hold up, hold up. Let him cook. Let him cook. I'm... He started to kind of, well, once he started popping his head up a little bit, he's kind of figuring. Stuff. Yeah, I feel like Cardi and all his affiliates. I mean, if we go on Twitter, like even Ken Carson, soon after Cardi got back active on Twitter, he posted like a bat and he said no bat. So what, what is Ken Carson? Is it Teen X? Next. Even his engineer said music on the way. And if you recall, Cardi's album is supposed to be called Music. So <laughs> does he mean it in like the generic sense of, of music? Or does he mean yeah, but regardless, let, let's check it out. Shit out still, and he's picking what he's gonna do when. Very smart individual. Um, you know, I I talk to the people and the teams that that support him. And they all basically say that, listen, Cardi is a fucking genius. He sits back, picks the best time, the best things to do, and he's never missed. So really, everybody- Not facts. Not facts. Like, again, I, I can't repeat it enough. The fact, like, you know how Mariah Care- I gotta go pee, I'm gonna- I'm 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 If I could change the way that you see yourself, you wouldn't wonder why you're here. They don't deserve you, Max Dot. If I could change the way that you see yourself, you wouldn't wonder why you're here. They don't. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, but thanks uh, for the money. Sorry for your loss or congratulations. I gotta go pee. I'm helping y'all out right now.
I'm hooking y'all up right now. Nigga, y'all nigga, y'all wanna keep watching the Cardi? Oh, y'all y'all run predictions. My bad. Be- my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Basically say that listen, Cardi is a, a nigga f- just said we you were fine without me. Wow, bruh. You were fine without me. Fucking genius. He sits back, picks the best time, the best things to do, and he's never missed. So really, everybody not nah, facts. Not facts. Like, again, I, I can't repeat it enough. The fact, like, you know how Mariah Carey makes like three, five, I don't even know what it is. You can go look on YouTube or on Twitter or something, but she makes like millions of dollars every year because she made a Christmas song. It gains relevance. Unlike any of these other hit songs that maybe go up like for the first couple weeks, months, if you're lucky. And then it just like kind of falls off. Not as, I mean, you still get residual streams after that from your fans and whatnot, or people discovering it here and there. But like when you drop a Christmas song or album, that shit's gonna pop up every single year. Mariah Carey goes number one every single year just because she got a Christmas song. So, cause, cause Christmas happens every year. So Cardi drops an album on Christmas two years later three years later four years later they're always gonna come back the fans be like oh is he dropping is he dropping so now he's coming back and making it relevant again because people always gonna come back thinking you know drop a deluxe or like an album and he he is smart when he pops up because he doesn't say much but when he does usually it means something although he did lie on september i think of 2021 and (laughs) claiming there was narcissists come in or whenever that was was this year i can't even remember I don't think it was. I think it was last with the label clearance issues. But but yeah, uh, I, I think I think he, he means something coming. Body just kind of just watches him and how he moves. What I could tell you is that something's coming. OK, um, I have another conversation to have with with some people who would be in the know. Um, people around this team. Yeah. And um, if I how many he at, bro, how many he at? Why would y'all bet on it? Yo. Gonna try this pod. Let's get it. To get any information that I could release, I will. If they tell me, nigga, we'll tell you this, but don't say nothing. You know, unfortunately, the, the great thing about whole lot of red when it came was that everything was his decision. And I know fans are. I see certain fans with the memes. Yo, he's a lot. No, you gotta let him rock. I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah, I, love I know. I, I was featured on the album from from a. Twitch. Yo, that, that's honestly his biggest accomplishment. Like, no hate towards academics, but now he's, like, solidified in history. Announcement. That was not meant to happen, right? Cardi had initially greenlighted that I could let people know when the album was going to drop because people thought it was going to drop another time or something like that. So he's like, yo, act. I'm going to greenlight you. You could clear. Yo, I'm going to be honest. I don't know when niggas start saying, let me cook. But were we not saying that for months, saying cook and shit? I've been saying cook for years. I'm not trying to take no credit, but for real though. Clear clear it up and let people know when I'm dropping, right? I made the announcement and, and there's no script. There's no nothing. I'm hyped about this and third. Cardi calls... Um, like probably a week before the, the shit drops and says, yo, act. we want your Twitch announcement on the album. And I'm like, what? He's like, yo. He probably creamed his pants on the spot. That's eight. That's eight. We want it. And I'm like, all right, cool. You can, you can have it. And that's how I ended up on control. It's just that simple. You know what I mean? So, you know, he has a vision for whatever he's doing. And and um, one of the things I do like about how, how Cardi's moving, he's moving how artists used to move. I feel like these days... That was a joke, dude. That was definitely a joke, bro. He literally chuckled afterward. That was a joke, bro. Yep, it was a joke. Nope, I don't want to hear none of y'all. A artists are being bullied by their fans. Oh, we want this. We want this now. Do that. Do this. No, we ain't, we ain't tell you we want this. Give us. There's only a few artists in the game that don't fold to what fans claim they want. And they literally give y'all what their inspiration's on. And y'all got to deal with it. Right? I think Kanye is one of them. But Kanye is like the greatest. Right? 
I think Cardi's another one too. No, I like that. Who else is like that? Who else is like that? Drake? No. Nigga said YB. Nigga said the baby. Nigga craving into that dog shit. Nigga, he released the same shit every time. 20 clone songs. K Flock, you? Y'all just saying artists. He's right, though. Cardi's one of the only people who, like, doesn't get pissed at the fans. And, like, you know, I ain't trying to hate here, but remember Uzi a couple days ago was blocking his biggest fans. Yeah, Uzi not on that list. Fans, people posting his shit on their, they li their literally personality traits are Uzi, and he blocked them. Like, uh, I don't know if Cardi's gonna be doing that. Like, I love Uzi, but, but Uzi does get a, he does get bodied by his fans a lot. It, it's because though he posts, like maybe that's why Cardi didn't post the snippets. He just posted screenshots of them. Let's find it, and he put Voltor. <laughs> that's a Pokemon. Uh, my logo is a Pokemon if y'all didn't know this, but anyway here he just posting screenshots. So y'all I'm not gonna lie I'm just playing this vid till he get to uh, 10 L jokes He has to get to 11 bro. I right, hopefully you go on a hot streak right here Can't even say that the snippets are trash or give your opinion He's just gonna let y'all know there's music actually on the way. So I, I think he's right. Ak is right Ak, Cardi is smart like honestly though it wasn't this a joke. Voltor. <laughs> that's a pokemon uh my logo is a pokemon if y'all didn't know this but anyway or <laughs> that's a screenshots of them let's find it and he put voltor <laughs> that's a pokemon no that was a joke uh my logo like, is like what the fuck is funny pokemon, if old man y'all didn't know this but anyway bobbling, here but... he just posting screenshots so y'all can't not love i don't know him like that but I like him. Even say that the snippets are trash or give your opinion. He's just gonna let y'all know there's music actually on the way. So I, I think he's right. Ak is right. Ak, Cardi is smart. Like honestly though, I think he's. Why do I attract to ramblers and NPCs? Like think about it. Chris, Unk, the ramblers. Y'all, the NPCs. Like you think about it. I don't know. He's like, he got the it factor. So no matter what he did, he could be posting snippets and then he would be considered genius for that just because he, everybody gets hyped for when he gets back online. Like Twitter has been active as hell the past couple of days. I'll give you this update from people who have listened to a lot of- I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna pay out, bro. I might scam, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I wanna do the tournament. Y'all taking, you feel me? Music that, um, is seemingly right, that's so gonna be released maybe soon. All right, so now he's getting into like the actual sound of it. Soon or maybe later. Scam by Cardi. Sorry, nigga, I'm finna end this shit, and he didn't reach 10 L jokes, L 11 L jokes. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm finna just refund y'all niggas points. Y'all got until 10 minutes. He has 59 seconds. Actually, I'll do 11. 11 minutes. This one was got this. This got told to me directly. They said, "Yo, Cardi." Is leagues and bounds beyond 12, 12 anyone minutes, 12 else minutes. in the in 12 fair. That's like two and a half minutes, 12 minutes. The 12 you, minutes flat, this shit over. No, so I'm talking about younger music industry because he's committed to setting the standard, never following the mold. He's not looking out there to be like, what's popping? Let me copy it. Yeah, no, I, I think. At this point, he is, he runs the underground for a reason because he comes up with the new sounds or at least he gets influenced by the new sounds. Nah, bring, bring bro back. Bring bro back. Bring bro back. Bring bro back. I need that nigga name. Can y'all bring him back? Mods, I need to show y'all what this nigga just said to me, bro. Mods, I need to show y'all what this nigga just said to me, bro. Bring bro back. I said brack. I mean back. No, y'all deleted the messages, so it's not going to be there. Can y'all undelete them? Bro, y'all got to see this shit. 
Bring bro, bring bro back. Yo, try to say that. Bring bro back. 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 All right, hold on. Look at this shit, bro. Maxwell Dent, you love that cream pie, don't you? You dirty slut. What nasty things you trying to do, Maxwell Dent? You love that cream pie, don't you? Dirty slut. What nat? Like, bro. Mr. Max, you love that cream pie. Oh, no. Oh, you little man. You love that cream pie, don't you? How that cream pie, darling? It's not no goddamn cream pie. It's key lime. Um, and he, he popularizes it so everybody starts following his trends. Especially with like the B selections and whatnot. So, yeah, I think we knew that though. Yeah, we knew and that. even if he's done something, and I'll give that. you the, what was told to me, it was just like, yo. Y'all got two minutes left. The sound he did last time, he's flipping it. He's doing some other shit now. He's doing completely different. His whole shit that he's doing again is going to shock people. Again. And you got to give someone credit that doesn't follow the trends. Oh, okay, this is this is a popping shit. Let me just <laughs> try to shark up the wave and act like I made it. So, um, from people who have worked with them, shit, they have described him as we see why he's the guy for this generation. So, again, um, I don't want to. Swam is getting mad from, at me for saying he's not underground. I never said he was underground. He sets the sound for the underground. Why do you think Rage was so popular? I mean, yeah, so fake. I got a minute left. Oh, and uh, Trippy Red, low key, were on it a little bit earlier with their snippets and uh, off the map. But like, I feel like Cardi really set the tone for all of the newer artists. We all know that every but every new artist wants to be Cardi. That's all I was trying to say. Uh, say too much or or, or, or promise. Okay, you I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you the outro too when he stopped reacting because he reacted. He not gonna make no jokes. I'm gonna give that to y'all too. I'm gonna give y'all one minute of that as well. Y'all can pick y'all timestamp. Yep, that's what we're going to do. As anything that I know will come, because one thing I know about fans, when you tell them a date or you tell them with a time period, they're going to fucking kill you till then, all right? <laughs> so, um, Cardi fans, be patient. Actually, but your I'm going to pick y'all timestamp. Okay? When did he say January Be patient. February. Your time is coming. I'm, listen. I didn't finish the song. Dallas got to send it back to me. If there's going to be something happening soon, up right I'll now. have the information. All right? Definitely. <laughs> Somebody said Cardi needs to parent all these bastard kids out here. Come on, man. Come on, man. Where did he say that January, February? <laughs> Yo, and I know y'all wanted more, but listen. And also, here's the thing, too. Some announcements ain't for me to make. You get what I mean? Some all right, here we go. I'm going to choose four, y'all. I'm going to go to a good time stamp. I feel like this nigga was tracking jokes right here. Let's see. So, uh, Dread says, hot take, Cardi is going to outsell Uzi's pink tape. Yo. Hey, that's a hot take, but I actually think that you might, you might I think it's in the ballpark. I don't know yet. I feel like Uzi is kind of hot right now. Pause because of, uh, just want to rock, right? Also, he's just a bigger artist. I'm going to go right here, actually thing they had going on so it will be interesting hey man who y'all voting for if if uh Uzi and wait what do you mean that was a joke that was a joke where do you make a joke hot right now pause because of uh what I feel like Uzi is kind of hot right now pause because of uh what just want to rock right also he's just a bigger artist as it is because that, that was not a joke, bro. He's he, just his history. That was not a joke. More bro. people know about Uzi than Cardi, but Cardi just has a stronger out, fan base. I'm, let, I'm letting it play out. Alt fan base, and they'll listen to anything he says. The music industry is waiting on Cardi. I feel like after the whole lot of red uh, effect, where everybody hated it at first, like they're definitely gonna be turn tuning into whole lot of red. A lot of people are probably gonna come in and say it's trash, regardless, just to hate. But the I don't know. They'll, they'll give it a chance because they realized how wrong they were about the album the first time. So with this next one, if it's ex super experimental, I'm down for it. We'll 
I'll definitely give it because remember the first time I listened to a whole lot of Red the stream, I was like, yo, I, I don't know about all this, but then you, you just gotta get into the like it wasn't a full moon or some shit. I wasn't Bro, look I like wasn't he fully in the get out house. I don't I wasn't know fully why. Like, up. His shit I had to, I had to go so close to the into a dark alley to to a Spencer's and I had to get, you know, sucked off by a emo chick and then I, 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 Oh damn. Damn, that's ten. That's ten. No, I said I'm letting it pay out. I had to go into a dark alley to to a Spencer's, oh and I had to get you know sucked off by a emo chick, and then I, I, there was just an epiphany like, oh shit, I'm vamped. She actually bit me with her her vamp teeth, you know, like. This shit got it too. Now. Little canines. This shit got it too. And I was ready, man. It, it worked. This shit got it too. By the way, wasn't ASAP was supposed to drop? Oh, Cardi I got that as one. He was just rambling. He had ten right now. Don't wash him, low key. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, ten, bro. Yeah, ten. Yeah, ten. Yeah, ten. He's going to <laughs> blaze these. Says, isn't Uzi supposed to drop Feb March? Now Cardi dropping early 2023. How is that going to work on an album that's going to get delayed? Oh shit, you're right. That's a good point. So you know how like back when Uzi was dropping Eternal Take, and then Uzi was kind of like trying. Max 11, bro. I said, I guess it wasn't a full moon. Wait, what? Nah, I counted that all as one, bro. I drop on the same, just, like, him and Cardi were going, not at each other, but, like, Uzi was was poking fun at Cardi on Twitter around that time. And he even brought up how, like, they actually had a physical altercation to, like, settle whatever oh, beef ego thing they had going on. So, it will be interesting. Hey, hey man. Who y'all voting for if, if I'm letting uh, it play out. Uzi I'm letting and it play Cardi out. dropped in the same week? I don't think that would ever happen, but it's almost like a Why Drake. Why did say 10 jokes? Okay, so clearly you either fell on your head as a kid, my nigga, or you're just a dumbass, or you don't pay attention in school. Reading comprehension is fundamental. Will Bob make more than 10 L jokes? What's more than 10? 11. Jeezy. And Kanye thing, although Uzi and Cardi likely have a better <clears throat> voice crack, likely have a better uh, relationship than, than Kanye and Drake because they're, they're not cool. Um, but I, I feel like I'm I'm like team I'm team Cardi right now, man. Like the I love Uzi. I love grown Uzi. ass man saying team Cardi. Think about that. That is so insane, bro. Bob is so crazy. But I, I'm not feeling the nigga the, just said he team Cardi. What is it? Jersey Club shit and like the snippet. It's not a joke, bro. It's man. I don't know. I'm just more confident in Cardi producing a better album right now than Pink Tape. I'm going to be real with you. That's your Love is Rage 2. I still feel like, uh, you know, a whole lot of red's cool. Dial is cool. Self-titled, self I fucking love. Like, that was a generational album for me. I, I will always hear any song on that and be like, oh, my God. Like, it takes me back to college. But Love is Rage 2, man, that was just a great project. So I might even put that as the top of all of theirs. Um, but you get what I'm saying? Cardi's selling more by less than 10K. <laughs> I don't like Bob, what he do to you? <laughs> yeah, I, I think it depends on features. And I feel like Uzi got more mainstream appeal. Like if we're talking like playlists and whatnot, although I feel like all the playlists, because of, again, the whole lot of red effect, it might, it might, uh, they might support him this time. I feel like Whole Lot of Red didn't really get much industry support. It was all organic until months later when like Sky started going up or whatever. What was the song that blew up on TikTok? I think it was Sky, right? I know Pink Tape, he said it's not gonna be necessarily Jersey Club, but y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. I know he said he was dancing. 40 seconds left. And on TikTok and that wasn't a song on the project, but we don't even know. We don't even know. I just feel like right now Cardi's in his fucking prime and y'all can't tell me right now that Uzi's music sounds like he's in his prime. I feel like his prime was like 2016 to 2018. Come on. Come on. I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just talking about quality music. I will still always love forever Uzi. No, uh, no, no, you know, no homo. <laughs> Wait, does that count? No, uh, no, no, you know, no homo. No way. He just so like that. <laughs> Always love forever, Uzi. No, uh, no, no, you know, no homo. 
Yo, did this nigga just hit a mother? Is that 11? Hold on, let me see his vibe. Come on, I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just talking about quality music. I will still always love forever, Uzi. No, uh, no, no, you know, no homo. I don't think it was a joke. He's just saying no homo. I don't think it was a joke, bro. I'm gonna give him some extra minutes after the live ended. It's up to Cardi. Um, Whose fucking son is this at the top left? I do wanna. Oh, he's not drunk. You were like. Maybe January, February. Maybe January. All right, so there he goes. January, February. That's next month or the month after that. I don't know if you should even like. Yeah, y'all can get excited, but. I would not even be surprised if he had to delay it from there just because remember Cardi even gave a whole lot of red dates like 48 hours locked in or whatever. Yeah, sure. That was like 48 is in the studios technically, but there were some other dates. I feel like that he really teased it, but just know that like to be ready, like it's coming soon. You know what I mean? Knows if it's actually going to be January, February, I'll be ready. You know what I mean? I think he's trying to drop two. He got, he got to make sure. I mean, he dropped at man April. And it was a whole new fucking video with the, or posted on Instagram. <laughs> Betty, chick, Betsy Johnson or whatever her name is. Or posted on Instagram with the, the chick. Betsy Johnson or whatever her name is. Betty White. <laughs> Betty, Betty White with the explicit symbol. Maybe that's going to be like a little single. I can't. Wait, does, does that count? Not see that being a, uh. <laughs> <laughs> a cover art although i can see some like cyberpunk <laughs> betsy johnson or whatever her name is betty white <laughs> betty betty white with the explicit symbol maybe that's gonna be like a little single i cannot see that being a okay someone of the source is in the mode all right so we got it the info so yeah it's got like a gift card you know like miss present but you got like an iou you yeah you're not getting a christmas present but you got like an iou you almost got like a gift card you know like some car didn't give you a present he just gave you the gift <laughs> card for you to get go get yourself something later and you probably, probably not going to use it until you know we're with family you're not gonna go to target like the next day or like use your visa <laughs> vanilla car or to go buy some the next day now you're gonna you know whenever you you really want something whenever it's ready don't pay out don't pay out so uh dread says hot take cardi is going to outsell uzi's pink tape yo okay that's the full video now i'm gonna be honest technically technically the rule was to play the whole vid. You feel me? If we're being technical. If we're being technical. Oh, see, that's that Cardi I need. See, that's that Cardi I need right there, bruh. Yo. I'm not gonna lie. Just... It's a little too iffy. Refund. Refund the points, bro. Refund the points. It's too iffy. It's too iffy, bro. It's too iffy. I wasn't here when y'all was counting the jokes when I wasn't here. So, refund the points. Refund. 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 Refund, bro. You just shot you out on IG. Can y'all ban that nigga, please? <clears throat> Why do niggas think they that shit funny? <laughs> 